So to um, export this as an interactive PDF, we go to File, Export. And depending on what version of InDesign you have, you may get different options here. But uh, we want to choose, this is InDesign CS6, Adobe PDF Interactive. Just click Save. <clears throat> we want all pages. Um, we don't have spreads in this document, so this doesn't really matter. We could just click Pages. We want to view it after exporting. We do want to embed page thumbnails. Um, and you can really leave all of this at a default. Just make sure that tagged PDF is checked. And if you want to add page transitions at this point, you can. Um, I'm not going to add any, but you can experiment with that if you want to. And um, the default uh, resolution is 72, which I feel is not really good enough for type. So I have raised that to 144 and raised my JPEG quality uh, to high so that my um, little um, fleur -de -lis will look nice. Um, I'm not going to do it in this case, but it's good to know that if you want, you can click on security and you can require a password to open the document or you can have a password to restrict printing, editing, and other tasks. That's completely up to you. Uh, I don't think it's important for this particular document. Um, so then we're just going ahead and click OK. And here is our document. And you can see that as I hover over my Baskerville that it takes me to that page. And you'll notice that on Baskerville, I ended up with a few blank boxes here. And that is because those particular characters either were located somewhere else or they don't exist at all in Baskerville. And uh, just be aware that all typefaces are not created equal. And as you go through this, you might find that not every typeface has all of the special characters that you would be looking for. So this is. Uh, complete lovely interactive PDF document now and congratulations this has been a long series but those of you who made it through the whole thing congratulations you have now created an interactive PDF and a typographic sample book that I hope will be useful to you and that you can continue to add to uh, throughout your graphic design career.